Welcome back to PowerBoat1.com. We're on to changing the oil pan on our LS project. We're going to get rid of this deep oil pan. We're going to put on a dually oil pan that is specific to a marine application. I've got one more bolt to get out on this, and then we can start to swap. Get one more bolt here. Now in this project, we're really not going to dive inside the motor, take anything apart. We're really just marinizing a junkyard motor and going to make it run. That's what this whole project's about. So let's see what we've got underneath here. We're going to be changing the pickup as well, putting on the pickup that matches the pan. We're also going to be using the factory windage tray in this. We're going to be removing a couple of bolts, putting a couple extensions on it to hold the new pickup. Okay, let's get this pickup off here. It's held on by two of the windage tray bolts. I'm going to set that aside because we're going to use that bolt again. I'm going to make sure that O-ring doesn't fall off either and drop down inside when you take it apart. The new pickup uses a different style O-ring, so always put on a new O-ring when you change pickups on, a, on an oil pan swap. Okay, now we're going to just clean up our surface here. We're really not going to have to worry too much about this adjustment here because we're not changing any of the front or rear pans. We're just going to clean the oil off of it, probably put a little silicone in the corners, and then pop our new gasket onto it. Now we're ready to put our pickup onto the, the block. We've got these two little standoffs that come as part of the kit. They're going to thread onto the two that held the old pickup in place. Just run those down tight. That's good there. There's three different O-rings for these. There's a red, a green, and a black, and sometimes a blue. This pickup is a straight style pickup, so we're going to be using this, this black O-ring to do this. The easiest way is to set it down inside the oil pump and seat it down inside. Then we'll take a little bit of assembly lube and we'll put that on our pickup. Make sure that it's good and lubed up. This pickup has a a plate on it that swivels that so makes it a little bit easier to get this installed. Sometimes you'll have to take and pivot this a little bit to get it to drop down in the o-ring. You got to kind of work it down in so it drops down. You'll feel it when it drops down in and seats and then drop the plate down over the top. We'll take our bolts. Okay we'll get that one started. Get that one started. So now that we've got both of our bolts started in here, we can swing this back over, drop it down on there, and we'll take our other two bolts that are going to drop down and hold it on the top. We're going to put a little bit of Loctite on those also. Okay, then we'll tighten those back up, tighten, finish tighten this up, we can put our gasket on and drop our pan on. Okay, now let's tighten up our two bolts on our pickup base. Okay, those are set now. We don't really have to check the depth of our pickup in this because it's a solid mount. It's not going to change. It's designed to work with this block and that pan. So that's all going to be in a good spot for us. Okay, now we're going to take and put a little bit of silicone right on these little spots that can be a little bit of a problem. Okay, now we'll drop our gasket down on there. It only goes really one direction. Okay, now we got our gasket down in, our holes all line up. There are some blocks that have different things tapped in it, like this particular block does not have a hole here in the original oil pan. This pan is as a hole for it, but we're not going to be using it. I'll just use these two on this side. This dually pan has a bypass in it. Um, that's kind of a factory set up on it. 
It's got a trap door inside so the oil stays at the back where it needs to be and then can rush forward to stay at the pickup. Has the oil galleys on it. So this is where we're going to come out and go up to our oil filter on this setup. Before you put a pan on, you always want to make sure that you clean on the inside because you never know what's happened in shipping. I've already done that and I've kind of pre-fitted a little bit. And with all aftermarket pans, sometimes you may have to open a hole up a little bit in places because it may not fit perfectly with the block alignment. So a couple of them I had to kind of open it up to make it a little easier to put the bolts on. So now let's just drop the pan down on. Just set it down nice and straight. Now we'll take and get some of our bolts started here. So I'm gonna get all these bolts in, then we'll come back and get it torqued down. Okay, we're getting the bolts snug down in there. They're only torqued to 18 foot-pounds on the larger bolts, and the two bolts in the back, the smaller ones, those are at 106 inch-pounds, which is, you know, eight to nine foot-pounds. So we're just going to tighten them up with a little wrench to make it easier. Those are snug. I kind of just start in the middle and work my way out there. We got our torque wrench set. Now let's go in and torque these down. There we go. Now that we've got everything torqued down, we'll get the engine flipped back over so we can start putting on the rest of the parts so we can get it in the cradle. Thanks for watching powerbow1.com.